What's up, guys? Uh, today, I just wanted to do a little kind of character progress video. And uh, honestly, it's more just so for myself. Um, I was just thinking like, oh, man, I wish I could go back to the old days and just like look at my characters, what I had done, what gear I had on, different things like that from like vanilla BC everything like that when i hadn't like recorded any progress or still don't even have any of those screenshots which would be awesome to see um but videos are forever especially if they're uploaded to youtube um but so far what a, a lot i've been working on is um getting my soul forge gear of course got the helm from strathholm from rivendare necklace from brd emperor um, Kate from Blackrock Depths as well. This mace is from Blackrock Depths. Have the Librum from the Real tokens, and then wearing also the three piece from Sunken Temple. There, um, I'm not really worried about getting the rest of the Soul Forge gear because it takes forever to do that last quest. I was looking at it, and then there's like a million steps. And that just gives me my helmet, which I'm most likely going to replace really soon anyways, doing Molten Core. Now that that is out, came out yesterday. I could also get the helmet from uh, Anixia too, I guess. Um, and then we have the Resin Loop. That is from the new dungeon, Demon Fall Canyon. And this is from... This is from some dungeon. I don't remember. It's just essentially the best ring I have, which kind of sucks. But I'm actually working on getting my reputation with the... or my reputation with AV up. I'm about halfway there, and then I can get the Don Julio ring. Best ring in the game there. And then I've been lucky enough to get the uh, Cursed Chalice and the Hand of Justice there too, which are my best in slot for all of Phase 4. So I'm pretty happy about that. I don't have to worry about too much. Uh, let's see, the things we've been working on, of course, we have the attunement for Anixia. Got a tune for everything, pretty much, that, that matters. Uh, we're attuned for Black Wing Lair there as well, so we'll be good to go. Um, then we've been working <laughs> on this quest, but um, honestly, it's so camped right now, it's like impossible to complete. So I might try that late at night, or early in the morning, something... I don't know yet. Not super important right now, I guess. Um, but yeah, really the only other things I have to worry about right now is just getting my AV wrap up and doing MC, getting making sure I have all my boons, all my buffs. Other than that, it's just raiding from here on out, getting my honor up. And uh, try to get the, you know, at least rank 10. There, that'd be pretty sweet. We can get all the gear. It'd be looking pretty good. Um, other things, I think. There's not too much else. I've done a lot of quests. The only quest thing I really haven't done much for is Dire Mall. I'll probably go do more quests in Dire Mall. And I definitely need a quest in Silithus. I haven't quested at all in Silithus. Um, we've done pretty much all the quests in uh, Eastern and Western Plague Lands there. Our Argent Dawn rep is, we're almost revered. Looking good. But we do need to get our Hydraxian Warlord reputation up there as well. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm not like super new, but I'm pretty new to a lot of this different kind of stuff in Classic. Since I've, I guess I'm more of a retail Andy, you could say. Uh, <laughs> uh but yeah it's been uh, it's been pretty fun it's been a fun journey this is pretty much my best in slot weapon for now until i get typhoon from azure ghost because i don't really want to spend 1500 gold on the arcanite reaper when i can get typhoon for for free from the boss um i think we're doing the mc later tonight or at least uh oni and the world bosses which i'd probably rather do you know, I really want the tier gear. I want the weapon more. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, that's my progress so far. 
let me know what you guys think down in the comments yeah thanks for watching um yeah critique my character all you want i think i'm doing pretty good for for what i got season discovery has been pretty sweet with the uh ketchup mechanics and everything going on all the different things they've changed the raid up there with molten core making it a lot harder got three different difficulties but there's no difference in the loot even with the extra added boss with heat tier three that just drops all the same loot so you're simply getting more loot the cool thing that they did add though that they changed is that some of the gear has like a different like enchant on it so they like glow differently which i think is really cool kind of show off your your status and how how cool you are in the game so that'll be another goal is <laughs> getting up all the fire resistance gear i think the main thing is definitely getting exalted with the hydraxine warlords so that we can get the uh the trinket there because every apparently that's how the main guild killed uh the last boss or the the did whole mc heat three already on day one is uh stacking up that trinket which is pretty crazy but yeah we'll end the video for real this time thanks for watching guys <laughs> have a good one